Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. There's always a system. And in this particular case, the system would honor the old soul. Dear ones, we have said before to you, the ones who make the difference on the planet at this point in time are the ones who have the most experience. And when we say the most experience, we mean those who have lived again and again in the energy of what you call the earth. An experienced human being who has lived life after life, we call an old soul. I would like to tell you something if you didn't already know it. The old souls are the ones who are awakening. An old soul could be under 20, over 80, it doesn't matter. For the oldness refers to how many lifetimes you've had and how wise you are today because of it. And even now, there would be those who would ask, am I an old soul? I want to give you some parameters just to think about in these last moments of this meeting. But before I do that, I again want to tell you something. I see the sweetness, the beauty, the purpose of your being here. I come from the other side of the veil where there is no time. The perception there is different from here. In that place, if you want to call it a place, there is acknowledgement of all that you are. We see the frustrations of the single life you live and at the same time the beauty of the lives you've lived before. We've seen what you've been for, been through and what you believe you are here for. We see it all at once. And still you wonder, am I, am I an old soul? And it's amazing for us as you sit here listening. Amazing that you would ask the question at all. Dear ones, there is so much here that I want you to feel that I cannot even speak of. I want this message to ring with truth so you know who you are. I want to start a journey of you asking the questions to validate that which you already know at some level. You are an old soul. Let me make a statement. I know who is here and everyone who is here listening to my voice at the moment in this room are old souls, all of you, every single one. There is such a variety in the length of time you've been on the planet, what you've experienced, the various cultures that you have been in, the battles you've been through, the reasons you came. I want to tell you the experience is vast and it's not what you think. You're so linear, you think you came in life after life after life and sometimes you were a sailor and sometimes you were a mother and sometimes you were a cook. That'd be nice if it were that simple. But it isn't. When I mean experience, I mean experience. What do you call a soul who comes in for three months and leaves? by agreement with their parents so that a lesson 
would be learned or delivered or an opportunity would be given for the parent to become spiritual through their sorrow. What about that? That is a lifetime that is profound and only three months long. Old soul, did you know that you would have done something like that? So basic, so profound, and so meaningful. Perhaps a mother has awakened spiritually and asked the profound questions of her life because of what you did. What you agreed to do. What about coming to this earth to only live till you're 19 and be terminated on a battlefield with a knife through you? And you might say, what good does that do anyone? I would like to say to you, dear human being, that every breath you take as an old soul on this planet is meaningful, is countable, is recorded, and beautiful. And some of you had to be on the battlefield as the ones who fell, and some of you had to be on the battlefield as the victors. And that is experience. And you might say, what possible thing would it, would it keep us in a system of learning? What possible good does that do? Perhaps you'd remember it enough that someday you'd have the power within you to say, there will be no more battlefields because it doesn't matter whether you're the winner or the loser. They're both low energy. That's experience, old soul. I want to give you the attributes of an old soul slowly. And I'm going to ask you for introspection. In other words, a word that says, I want you to analyze these things personally. Don't lie to yourself. Don't be in denial. <laughs> I want you to sit in clear yourself right now, old soul. The first reason you know you're an old soul is because you're here. <laughs> you don't have a room filled with human beings who are simply curious. At this level, learning these kinds of things in this energy it's almost all old souls. Did you want to come? Even if you were dragged here by someone who wanted you to observe what took place, I will tell you, old soul, that is synchronicity. No accident. The first reason you know you're an old soul is because you're here. Dear ones, what do you think about when we speak? Do you hear cry on? Do you want to hear cry on? Or are you thinking about dinner later? Hmm. Be honest. Old souls are curious about so much but when it comes to this energy they're attracted to it like a moth to a flame you recognize why you're here and at some level you want more a sponge for the information you are not through curiosity but because it's beginning to ring with the truth of the age That's number one. Some of you are starting to have what I will call profound remembering experiences. Now you have called them deja vu. A phrase which means I think I've been here before. I have the feeling of remembrance 
although I cannot remember if it happened or not. And some of you are having that more and more. You will meet a person and you will walk away from the meeting and you will be convinced you have seen that person before. Only to turn later that you never met them. You go to a gathering and you meet somebody who is so friendly and so familiar and is so family and you get their information and you're excited for this new friend and yet somehow through it all you realize it's an old friend. You're rekindling that which is profoundly friendship and family. You've met a mother or a daughter in a past life. Men will meet comrades and those who somehow they feel a, a, an affinity to and they, they will call them mates and chaps and whatever it is and want to be with them. It's more than that. You find a similarity of consciousness. It's more than that. You're starting to remember. I'm going to call it Akashic awakening. More and more you are led into situations that seem familiar and faces that you think you know. And yet it's the first time. My partner has it happen when he leaves his home and goes to countries and cultures he has never been to and never seen and there he meets brothers and sisters and it's hard for him to leave. Many don't speak his language and can only be available through interpretation and yet he looks in their eyes and he knows their family. He knows their family. far-reaching as it might be his experiences all over the planet are ones where he knows he meets family this is a symbol a sign of being an old soul and some of you are having it happen over and over how many of you see 1111 on the clock old soul <laughs> did you know this is a delivery system to old souls so they know they're old souls that's what it's about it's out of synchronicity by chance you're not supposed to see those numbers that often it is a system of communication of love that says we know who you are old soul perhaps you're a woman who has never had children and yet at some level you have and you know it you can feel it perhaps you're a woman who has never had children and you're not going to because you feel you've had children over and over and over and now it's time for a rest. <laughs> but you know what it's like, don't you? You really do. Old soul. You've been here enough time that your Akash rings with being a mother. It is the same for men. A man who is sweet natured. A man who would never hurt another human being knows at the deepest level that he's probably put a sword through a few <laughs> and knows what it feels like at some level. Now, if you're a man sitting in this audience and listening to me, I challenge you to go there with me because you'll feel it. You know you have. It rings in your Akash. It is part of your cellular structure. As sweet as you might be, as respectful as you might be, this time around, you know you have warrior inside. Now, if you really want to get esoteric, 
women in the audience, you know you have warrior inside as well. You can feel it. You participated on the battlefields of earth and you know it. Although you may not respond to being a male, you can respond to battle. You know what it's like to survive or not on the battlefield. So much history was won and lost so often by those with weapons. And all of you in the room have participated to the fullest in all of it. Sometimes you died for your God and sometimes you died for nothing. But you've had the experience of knowing what it felt like to come and go quickly. And the next time around to decide whether that is what you're going to do again or why or why not. There are so many signs. Perhaps you're not aware of them. And some that hide. Here's one I want you to examine in your mind as you sit there. Are you naive or wise? Now, I recognize that a naive person will never think they're a naive person. <laughs> I'm talking about wisdom beyond your years. Do you have wisdom beyond your years? And the answer in every case is yes. And you know it. As you sit there in all honesty with your body, with your brain, you know it. You have wisdom beyond your years. There are some young people here who feel it profoundly. Wisdom beyond your years. How is that possible? How do you describe what that feels like? Dear ones, I have just given you one of the keys to knowing you're an old soul. And you never talk about it with anybody. How can you say such a thing to anyone without them believing that your ego is in charge when you say, I am wiser than anyone around me? <laughs> but perhaps you are. And you have that in common with the group. And you come together with them and you realize it. And you found family. Your wisdom comes through experience. You paid for it. Dear ones. That's how you know you're an old soul. Now the next one is difficult. And we have spoken of it before. But there is one thing that being an old soul creates in your personality and you'll know you have it. I know who's here. For eons you have pushed against an old energy and you haven't done well. The old energy was always in charge. And you either had to hide from it or battle it. It never really got any better. Lifetime after lifetime you spent in this condition. Always being beat back. Until now. Now you awaken in an area of the galaxy at a time on this planet that the ancients have spoke of that is profound with change. The energy is on your side and that is what we have talked about. However, what do you carry, old soul, into this energy? What do you carry? You carry a lack of self-worth, complete lack of self-worth. I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand. I want you to soul search right now. You know I'm right. You may be assertive on the outside. You may be strong to others. 
But when you're alone, you wonder who you are. You wonder if you're going to make it. You wonder if you're right. That is an old soul. Your experience alone has caused you to search if you're worth being here in this new energy. Your wisdom alone weighs all that is and comes up with this remark. Maybe I'm not worth it to be here. And that's what you think about, don't you? Lack of self-worth is the attribute of an old soul. Now that is starting to turn around as you learn who you are, why you're here, and why you feel the way you do. There's nothing better than discovering truth for it solves the past. Discovering truth of the past also puts the future in perspective and you start to have the self-worth that you deserve. Here's number six. Discovering purpose. The old soul has so much past performance there is so much history that you've been part of that you arrive on a planet with new energy and you look around and you say, what is my purpose of being here? And you may have others tell you what it is. You may go to meetings where you, you are pretty sure you know what it is, but deep down, you have no idea. What is my purpose? What am I doing? It's an esoteric question because some of you, if not all of you, at some level feel unfulfilled by what you're doing. It's not enough. It's not perhaps at the right time or you've gone a different direction than you thought. Oh, old soul. It really shows that you are an old soul in a new energy learning your way around again for as many times as you've lived before you've never lived in this energy this is number one <laughs> and so you feel a little lost or perhaps the purpose is not clear because the new energy does not give you the feedback the old energy did you can't tell because you can't trust what you feel. And so you ask the questions, am I doing it right? Is there something I should do better or more? I'm going to say this again, old soul, as you begin to heal yourself from these attributes, your power really starts to show. You start realizing not only who you are and that you deserve to be here, but that you come in with so much experience, you begin to pull upon the experience. You may not even realize you are, but you are. Intuition becomes higher. You're starting to get advice for your own life, synchronicity on where to go, all based upon you being an old soul today. The ones who are just coming into the planet, dear ones, are surviving only. They don't have the tools yet. They will. But they're just figuring it out. What's it about? You know what it's about. You have the wisdom of remembrance. You're beginning to solve the problem, and we told you what the purpose was. We told you to relax and simply be here. We told you that it doesn't matter what you do. Here is a concept that does not work with what your parents told you. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do. Your light helps this planet. Your search for who you are helps this planet. Your esoteric-ness 
sitting in the chair today helps this planet. The crystalline grid remembers what you're doing and it will last for generations. You put into the grids of this planet the energy of the maturity of your lives. That's what you're doing right now. This particular new energy on this planet is like a sponge absorbing your energy so that the next generations will have what you have learned as an old soul. There is a system here that's beyond what you think. Literally, while you're sitting in despair, wondering if you deserve to be here and what your purpose is, this planet is absorbing everything you've done and learned and is maturing because of it. That is the system that the old soul needs to know. Relax and be. Know that you're on purpose. Relax. Let synchronicity push you into the next thing which will be benevolent and beautiful for you if you allow it. You've been through so many lives where you suffered. It's easy for you to think you're here to suffer. You're not. You're not. Parents, would you bring your, your children on purpose into a world so they can suffer with you? It doesn't make sense. It's not common sense spiritually. It's not common sense spiritually at all. You have to start using that intelligence that is spiritual that would say, what would I do if I were God? And then at some level inside, there'll be a voice that says, you are. You are. A piece of the whole creation, you are. You can answer your own logical questions if you want. Finally, number seven. You would never think of this one. Dear ones, you don't know this one. You think this is obvious and it's not. It's not. I can prove it. If you start talking to others about what I'm going to tell you right now, they'll look at you like you're crazy. Because the old soul in this energy has the ability to feel loved by God. And others do not. It takes a maturity. It takes lifetimes of experience for you to understand the benevolence of a creator and what that means inside. Now here is something that I never said to my partner and I reveal it here for the first time. He gave you the cryon story and he told you when he sat in the chair for the first time he felt emotion and that this was the catalyst that allowed him to sit in the chair again and again. Not only did he feel it, he liked it. He don't he was not going to tell you that part because he knew what it was. He was an old soul. He is an old soul and he was ready to feel the love of God and he recognized family. And dear ones, the new souls don't recognize family. They don't understand the feeling that you have that's the maturity of being loved by the Creator. You're an old soul. If you can feel it, you're an old soul. Congratulations to all of you for being who you are. You are the ones to change the planet. In this room, you have come from all over in so many countries and so many languages. And you all have one thing in common right now, together, old soul. You're going to change the planet by your very presence here, light worker. The grid 
absorbs the light that you carry and have earned and brought to us. This is a system. And the new energy of the planet needs the old soul, the experience of the old soul, and the wisdom of the old soul to go into the grid so that those born in the future will have that which you have taught them through living your lives. A system that is esoteric, difficult to describe, and profound. Think of it. By living here today, you imbue into the grids knowledge for future generations. How do you think that humanity is ever going to mature and evolve spiritually without this knowledge? And the answer is it can't, and you are the ones who are putting it right into the grids of the planet. This, along with the time capsules from the Pleiadians, as they give this information to you, is going to create an ascended planet eventually. Far from now, but all important. You are planting seeds of the future just by being in the room and letting us speak to you. I close. What are you going to do with this? I want you to think on these things, if you can, if you will. I want you to think on all of them and ask the questions, is it possible that I'm more than I think? Is it possible that God knows me as I just sit here with all my problems and my frustrations and all of the errands I have to run and the children I have to raise and the relatives that I have to please, and the bosses, on and on and on. Is it possible that God loves me through all this? And the answer is yes. Yes, yes, and yes. So important, old soul, are you? Congratulations. That's your purpose, to be. And so it is.